Hello and welcome to D's ADD videos. Today we're going to be discussing factoring. There are two main types of factoring. One is factoring out the greatest common factor. Whether numerically or a variable, there is sometimes a situation which something will show up in each term that's being added and subtracted. So you pull it out and to figure out what's left behind, in the parentheses you take what you had originally over what you're factoring out. Or if there's uh, nothing that's common to each term, that's the first thing you should try is common. And if there's nothing common, see if it's a difference of two squares. Is it a binomial, meaning two expressions? Are they subtracted? And then are they both perfect squares? If, sh if so, there is a um, way of factoring that, x squared minus y squared. Or is it a trinomial? Does it have three expressions? Does it have a quadratic pattern? Is it a perfect trinomial square? Or can we factor it by grouping? Okay, These are all things that you have to keep in mind. So let's look at factoring out the greatest common factor. Okay, So what you do is, in order to factor out the greatest common term, you look at the numbers first, numerically. What is the largest common number that is a factor? And it has to show up in each term, every one of those terms that's added and subtracted. Okay, That's what common means. And then variables, same concept. Uh, what is the largest power that shows up in each one of the added subtracted expressions? Okay. Either way, to figure out what's left behind, you're going to always use what you had before over what you're factoring out, whether it's numerically or whether it is a variable. Okay. Uh, and then. That's basically it. I didn't want to do just factoring in general because it was too short a video. It ended up being a minute long. So I've squeezed greatest common factor concept video into the general factoring video. Okay, uh, I'm going to have a separate video for the trinomials, the patterns, and for factoring by grouping and difference of squares. So check out each of those videos and the example videos and practice, practice, practice. I hope I've cleared up the concept for factoring out the greatest common term. And thank you and have a nice day.